the Wright brothers. Aircraft failed to fly. Wilbur, look at this. Hmm, a lot of people are making flying machines. We always dreamed of flying too. Why don't we try? About 100 years ago, flying was something people only dreamed of. Many people were working day and night to invent an aircraft. The Wright brothers were one of them. Hmm, this aircraft has a small problem right here. Then how about this? After some time, they finished making the first aircraft. But it wasn't easy to fly. Whoa! Oh no, Wilbur! The plane crashed. Wilbur got hurt. The Wright brothers never gave up. Orville, look at the bird's wings. They change directions. That's right. Let's fix our plane. Building the aircraft was hard. But they tried and tried. <sighs> One day, the aircraft was completed. We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to you the aircraft. The aircraft went up high into the sky. The crowd was amazed. W what? It's flying in the sky. Wow! The Wright brothers always worked to make safe aircrafts. Thanks to them, we have airplanes today. Marie Curie. <coughs> uh, honey, take a rest. Marie Curie was a scientist. She loved science very much. Uh, cold. My hands are frozen. The Curies were very poor. But they never stopped studying. Huh? What's this? Marie Curie first found radium. The Curies were so happy. People were surprised with the new finding. Oh, look at this. Amazing. Wow, it even shines. Wow. One day, Marie Curie's husband, Pierre, died in an accident. Marie Curie was so sad. Don't leave me. Pear was also her workmate, so this broke her heart even more. But Marie Curie didn't give up studying radium. She was still curious. So, she studied every night. Hmm, what's so special about radium? Shall I try this? She showed many findings to the world. She was respected by many people. Marie Curie won two Nobel Prizes. Later, 
Radium saved many people's lives. Her studies helped develop science and medicine. Neil Armstrong. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow! wow! A spaceship began to fly high into the sky. In there was Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is the first man to visit the moon. Neil Armstrong always loved airplanes since he was a child. I'm going to become a pilot. He studied hard and became an amazing pilot. One day, Neil Armstrong read a newspaper. Looking for an astronaut. They're looking for an astronaut? That's it. I'm going to outer space. Neil Armstrong joined NASA, a place that studies space. He received hard training. But he didn't give up and tried hard. At last, Neil Armstrong's spaceship blasted off to the moon. Look, I can see the moon. That's incredible. Neil Armstrong set the first foot on the moon. Step by step, he bounced up and down. The first trip to the moon was successful. We made it! Many people on Earth started dreaming of going to outer space. Me too. I want to go to space. I want to become an astronaut when I grow up. People are still doing research about outer space. Neil Armstrong is remembered as the first human to walk on the moon. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Amelia Earhart Who wants to fly on this airplane? It was Amelia's first time going on a plane. Swish, swoosh, whiz. After flying in the sky like a bird, Amelia thought, I'm going to become a pilot. That's Amelia, the pilot who changed the history of flying. Amelia Earhart learned how to fly a plane. She wore a leather jacket, had short hair, and took classes that were even hard for men. Soon, Amelia was going to cross the Atlantic Ocean. A long time ago, there wasn't any sky map or finder to help flying. Crossing the sea was a very big challenge. Although she couldn't fly the plane, Amelia helped the other pilots by checking the weather. They finally landed safely. They were in the sky for 20 hours and 40 minutes. Ah, Amelia! That was amazing! You are the world's first female pilot to cross the ocean. How do you feel? At that time, it was difficult for a woman to become a pilot. But Amelia did it. Whoop. 
Other girls dreamed of becoming like Amelia. Amelia never stopped trying. I'm going to fly the plane myself this time. Amelia decided to cross the Atlantic Ocean once again. When she was in the sky, there were dangerous moments. But Amelia never gave up. After 14 hours, Amelia became the world's first female pilot to cross the Atlantic Ocean alone. She never stopped challenging herself. Amelia Earhart gave courage to a lot of people. To this day, she is remembered as the first lady in the sky.